everywhere, every country I go, even richest country, I saw homeless people, and it always pains my heart. <sighs> Our world is not okay. Not okay at all. And I don't know what the governments are doing. They turn the blind eyes or something to the suffering of humans fellow humans and fellow animals. It's not okay. Heavens want to help, but they must have the condition to help. We don't create that condition. We have the power to create any condition in alignment with heavens. And then we can synchronize with heaven in order to make the world a better place, even a heaven on earth. The karma doesn't always come immediately or time frame. There is no time frame for karma. Sometimes it can hurry up, sometimes it can slow down. It depends also, of course, on your merit and your sincerity in practice spiritually. Or if someone prays for you. Or if you pray for yourself with all your heart. Things can be delayed or um, can be uh, quickened. Please keep watching to find out more. Hello, hello Master. Master. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, just a quick hello, okay? Yes. Are you guys all right? Yes, yes Master. Master. I remember... Uh, it was very damp, so are you okay at night, warm enough? Yes, yes, yes Master. Do you prefer to sleep in the office where the aircon, you can make it warm or not? Or you prefer your villa? Yeah, our our villa is good. <laughs> okay, up to you, okay, huh? Yes. If the villa is cold, you can uh, arrange to sleep also in the office. Got that? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, you, you have enough warm clothes. Yes. Yes. yes, Any of you feel specially, you know, like uh, trouble, like pain somewhere or anything? No, Master. No, 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 master. no, master. One by one, yes or no? No, Master. No, Master. No, oh, okay. Master. Yeah, hey, uh, what's the name of the guy? You have the hat, does it help you? Headache? Uh, it's okay, I'm, I'm okay. It's supposed to help your headache now. Do you take medicine or something? I don't have a headache now, so... Wow. It's okay. Wow. That's good. All right, then. Thank okay. you. Thank you. If somebody else has a headache and you don't use it, you can give it to him. Maybe it helps. Okay, huh? Okay. Thank okay. you. Any of the girls have any problems? No, no master. master. Really? Any of you individually have any trouble? No. No? No, no Master. You happy there? Yes, yes, yes Master. Hmm. Fresh air, everything is good. Just cold and damp. You have a measurement inside uh, your villa to measure how damp it is. You know, under 60 may be okay, but above that it could be too damp. Huh? Yes, Master. Yes. Do you have any, you know, the, there are some clocks that you also see the time, also can measure the humidity. All of you have them, men, women? No, but we have dehumidifiers and... Ah, okay. They come on and off, and it helps to keep the air dry. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, like automatic, you know? Like you time it, right? So it comes up yes. and on and on. And that's, everybody have, right, or not? Yes. Yes, yes, Master. Yes. yes. Anybody who doesn't have, hmm? just came from jungle somewhere, have or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, very cold, of course, where you are. Okay, I just want to ask if you okay, you know, any pain or anything because of too much dampness. All of you have the humidifier in your villa, correct? Yes, yes, master. yes master. Yes, master. That's good. If don't have, must order, okay? Mm. You need that. And ask the, the tech brother, whoever can, the uh, electrician to set it on the time for you. Mm? So it's just always dry. Okay, huh? Yes. 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 Yes, Master. Normally, the, the wood wall keeps you dry already, but uh, the air is damp, so we have to use the, the humidifier. Imagine how much water it collects in the air, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. It could be maybe at least 
three, four liters per day, no? Yes. <laughs> Can we drink this water? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's... It doesn't Don't taste very so, good. Master. No? No. No, not healthy to drink. Not clean? Not clean, yeah. How come? Because a lot of things in the air and uh, ah, a lot I of see. particles. Okay, they collect them inside. We have enough water, otherwise, if you are desperate. <laughs> in some area in, in other countries, they're so desperate. They maybe filter it and use it, who knows. At least to wash hands, you know? Yes, yes. Or washing something or clean the floor with it. Really, we are very lucky at the moment. We still have abundant water and clean, eh? Yes. yes. Don't have to use recycled water like many other countries. Every day I'm counting my blessing, you know, wherever I live. As long as I have uh, enough good water, that is something basic. Yeah, yes. Many hundreds of millions of people don't know clean water and or have to use recycled water. Our world is not okay. It's, it's not okay at all. People still sleep on the street in winter. Even I, in winter, I stay in a room. I still feel cold. I have to have thick blanket, sometimes heater on and even dehumidifier and all that. And still don't feel always comfortable. Oh, maybe it's a karma, of course. World karma. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, I, I think we have a lot of blessings. Don't you think? Yes. Yes, yes, yes many people still sleep on the streets. I mean, in top-class cities, you know, even, like Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., uh, London. Mm -hmm. And just now, due to the COVID that some government have, begin to notice that there are some people cold outside. Uh, I don't know how they survive. Um, everywhere, every country I go, even richest country, I saw homeless people, and it always pains my heart. <sighs> Our world is not okay. Not okay at all. And I don't know what the governments are doing. They turn the blind eyes or something to the suffering of humans, fellow humans and fellow animals. It's not okay. It pains me so much. It pains me so much. Uh, but even even all that, I still worry about you guys. It's just to make sure if you're okay, you have warm clothes. Okay, don't don't spare that. Okay, huh? Yes, master. Yes, thank you, master. Don't spare money on the the humidifier and the warm clothes and all that. You all have like warm electric blanket, yes or no? Not all. Not all. You can order. It doesn't take a lot of electricity. It's maybe only a 90, maximum 90 watts or something like that. But I know it's not a lot, okay? okay. Mm. Yes, master. If you need it, you buy. If not, buy a very thick blanket. And at least you have this uh, one pad, no? Yes. Yes. Or, or something, you know, a special uh, bag that you put hot water in it, about 70 degree, pour into it. Not 100 degrees, but 70 degrees, and then it keeps you warm, huh? Yes, yes. yes. If you worry about electricity, uh, I mean, the risk, then you just buy those things. It's like those uh, round bags that some people put ice in it and to put on on some, some of the people's forehead when they have uh, fever or something like that, okay? Yes, yes It's a round, it's like a round bag. And uh, not very big. And if one bag's not enough, you put three, four bags, you know, all sides, and you'll be warm all night through. Very comfortable, okay? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes if you worry about electricity, the risk of it, then please order these things. I don't know how to explain to you. It looks like a pumpkin, you know? Yeah. yeah. A medium size, a small pumpkin. It's the size of a Big person's a palm spread out, and uh, the mouth is very small, and you pour 70 degrees hot water into it. It lasts the whole night, okay? And one not enough by three, four. Yes, yes. yes. You must be warm, okay? Thank you. 
Because if not, you will have pain in the long run, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Just I'm concerned about you guys. Uh, since you are under my uh, care, I I do care. That's all. All right, huh? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you much, much, sir. Just one moment. I call you back, okay? Okay, okay master. master. Okay, master. Okay, master. Hello, master. Hello. Yeah, hello. hello. Yes. It's just that uh, um, recently I have a lot of pain. You know, oh. even though the room is warm and dry, I still have pain. I was thinking winter. Maybe you guys. Uh, to call in your special villa or something. That's why I have this conference, okay? Yes, Master. Thank you. Thank you, Master. There's no urgent question, by the way, right? We have um, f- five questions. Uh, five? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe we can just have it done with. Uh, so, and I have pain, you know, I thought because of winter or something. And if I had to walk some steps, and I have pain, you know, the knees and the lower part of the leg and all that. Oh. Uh, and the hands, you know, it's probably old age, you know, <laughs> or karma, but it's no big deal. I wonder if you guys are comfortable the way it is, yeah? We're, okay We're very here, comfortable master. here. Are you sure? It's comfortable, Master, here. You sure, yes? Yes, yeah, it's, it's warm master. enough, Master, it's warm. All right, good, good. All right, that's all I wanted to ask you guys, nothing more. Uh, this world pains me a lot because I don't see a lot of things right. Still, a lot of things not right, you know, for humans and of course for the animals. It pains me a lot. Sometimes I don't feel like talking about anything. Sometimes I don't feel like eating, sleeping. I was thinking, it's just too bad. This was just too bad. <sighs> Uh, your question, please, if you have it, yes. Yes, Master. Uh, in the lecture entitled, Tim Kotu's Love Will Win, Part mm. 3 of 9, mm. on June 10th, 2020, uh, mm. Master shared the God of Victims message. It says, infected around 3 billion plus, and die will be millions, 4.2 plus. Mm. Yes. Uh, Master, is there any update or more messages from the God of Victims that Master could share with us? especially now with multiple COVID-19 variants that are circulating globally? Uh, no, I did not ask them. I did not have a conference lately because I've been busy moving, okay? And, yes, and burdened with so many things. A moving house is not my favorite, okay? It, yeah. it, it really drives me a lot then. When in new places, I have to rearrange things, try to find things and try to... Organizing, yeah, alone is not very easy for me, okay? Yes, 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 I did not ask, but I look in the news and it's nothing good really, is it? Yeah? No, no Master. Yes. And even if they're dying more, you know, you don't have the chance to always know the truth, okay, huh? Yes. Mm-hmm. For example, recently, if you read in the news, it says, like, for example, in New York City, the the nursing homes people, uh, the governor of New York did not tell the the whole the whole picture. Recently, they are forced by the attorney general, so the um, the health uh, assistant of the governor have to tell the truth. It's almost thirteen thousand oh. old people die in the old homes oh. because of COVID nineteen because they ship people there and infected them also because they didn't want to bring them to the hospital in the beginning, you know, beginning. They're afraid and so they just shoved them door into the, the nursing home. Yes, Master. And then infected also older people who live there. You know, the, the old home? Yes, Master. They, they call it either nursing home or old home. 12,700 something. You read it, you know it. Just recently it came out and they say, with the number came out with many other things like uh, corruption and, you know, a lot of factor uh, uh, burying and stuff like that came out altogether. 
is very sad, you know. Yes, master. They don't care about old people. They think old people anyway. They will die soon, so they just shock them all in there, and then so they die. Thirteen thousand, no? almost thirteen thousand. Can you believe that? Yes. And who knows if there are other numbers that are not reported or, you know, deliberately deleted or forgotten. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Master. So just that, in just one little corner of America, the numbers has been hidden like that. They say only maybe a very little number before, yeah? But they did not say almost 13,000 people died. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes Master. That was in the beginning, and, and now more, who knows? So in many corners of the world, people just die and die and die. Nobody even counts. Nobody even reports. Nobody even cares. You see on the TV, the whole big field is planted with a white little flag. Yes. Yes, Master. One flag symbolizes <laughs> one tomb, you know, a hurry, hurry to bury, you know. The whole field is like that, full of white little flags. They have no time to make like a tombstone for the tomb, yeah, for the dead people. No time. They just put white flags. And they dig hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of holes who are always ready there. Many countries are like that. And even they cannot see people in the hospital. They have to see them in like in the parking lot or with the emergency uh, red cross the uh, car or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes master. master. Or makeshift uh, hospital with simple, you know, plastic uh, tent like something like that in winter. Understand me? Yes. yes. yes and not your winter, England winter, Ireland winter. You see what I'm saying? Yes, master. Yes. yes, master. yes. Cold, damn, miserable. And people are already sick and dying and have to endure all these kind of conditions. And lucky they even be taken in. Some are refused even. Yeah, until they really have symptoms or really dying. Yeah. The rest just say, stay home, you know. Take aspirin, whatever. Oh, my God. And that is... Not to talk about countries who don't have any aspirin or any malaria drug. You see what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Nothing at all. That you have to walk, you know, tens or hundreds of miles to go to the hospital. There's no car even, yes. And even then, the pandemic still comes and visit them and they still die and nobody cares and nobody can count them. Nobody even bothers. They don't have time anymore nowadays with so overburdened patient numbers, yes, everywhere in the world. Even the Antarctic now, you read it? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Even the Antarctic people who went there for research, they got COVID-19. How? Mm. Um. See what I'm saying? Yes, yes master. And Taiwan for eight months, nine months doesn't have anything. And now suddenly a cluster in the hospital. And the doctors still don't know how these patients even got it. You know, the first one, the first couple who got it, and then infected another uh, cluster of them. And doctors still don't know how they got it. But I have told you, warned you before, you always have to be careful when you go out. Okay? Yes, yes. Yes, if, yes. if you have to go out, if you don't have to, just stay home for now. Okay, huh? All of you stay together in the community. You don't go out. Because you never know what you get when you're out there. Okay, huh? Yes, 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 Master. Like the hospital patients, the Taiwanese government has to, to quarantine 5,000 people inside the hospital. You see what I'm saying? Yes, wow. Master. You're sick or not sick? Doctor and nurse and everyone. Yes, yes Master. Master. And that's a big hospital, and normally there's nothing at all for eight, nine months already. And Taiwan is recognized as number one in medical treatment and facilities, even in the world. They're very proud about that. Well, I would be proud too if I'm Taiwanese. You see what I'm saying? Yes. 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 Compared to other countries, like even England, America, you know, South American, uh, France, Europe, all the countries compared together, they're number one. Believe it or not, 
Hmm? Then they have eight months, nine months under control, nothing happened. And then suddenly, boom, in the hospital like that. It's still manageable, of course, but there was a surprise for them, yeah? Yes, yes, Master. Yes, Master. That they have to quarantine 5,000 people in the, in the whole area there. And still tracking contact, perhaps, <laughs> yes. I told you many times before, yes, at least two times, that there are people who are asymptomatic, yes? yes. Even though they carry the virus of COVID-19, you don't see it. They don't know it because they are asymptomatic. The virus doesn't attack their system, doesn't attack their body, but they carry it, and they could transmit up to 70 days. And carrying around, imagine how many people they can infect yes, for 70 days long. So this case in the hospital is like that. Well, I guess, well, I think, from what I know, okay? Yes. Of course, I can approve it, is that some people you know, involved in this uh, pandemic, uh, newly discovered. They have a symptomatic uh, kind of uh, status. Yes, Master. Therefore, they went into hospital. They have nothing. They don't look sick. They are not sick. They don't feel sick for a long time, so they thought they're okay. And normally, a government quarantines you two, three weeks, and you're okay, then you can come out. But these people, normal people, they don't quarantine themselves, and even then they carry on living for months already, or for maybe for weeks already, no problem. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, now they went to the hospital, then their symptoms, how you say, manifested. Normally, after you infected, your system will not, uh, you know, break down or get ill until after some time, you see? So maybe these couple who had the... A virus, but the symptoms have not shown up until they are in the hospital for three days, and then the symptoms come out, and then they infect others. <laughs> this is the thing, because they, they might have been infected somewhere else, you know, and they don't even know yet, and then when they go to the hospital, is the time. The time is up, so the symptoms come out. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And then it's too late, and then that's how it happens. Therefore, I say you can never be Seriously, protect it enough for yourself. Do protect yourself. Do listen to the government guidance and listen to my advice about how to take care of yourself when you go out, okay, and when you come back home. Hmm? After. Yes, Master. I keep talking about it. Maybe you guys get bored. The Master is talking about the same thing all the time, but I cannot emphasize enough. Now you know that. Now you know. Okay, huh? Yes, yes, yes Master. master. Especially this uh, new variant, it came from South Africa. And, you know, in England, now it's everywhere else as well. Many places in the world already, this variant. We don't know how they get there, they just got there. Or maybe the virus just mutated itself. Yes. Yes. Mm. So even the government of England, for example, they make... Uh, billboards everywhere saying the variants spread very fast. Please stay home. Just stay home. All the time they tell them to stay home. But there are cases that they cannot just stay home. You see, it's, it's unavoidable. There are people who are so-called essential workers, you know. They have to go out. And even if they are infected, they might not show anything. And then they will continue infecting others. And others will continue to infect others. You see what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. And the new variant, it spread very, very fast. 70, 80 percent faster than the usual one. That is the most scary thing. People are suffering everywhere because they're yeah. suffocated. Some people even committed suicide. Some children, they cannot bear it. They die. They kill themselves also. If you are in, like... A forest or somewhere where you have room that you can walk around, you know, even if you have a small villa, just enough to sleep in, but you can walk out any time in the nature, and you feel different, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, because you only go there to sleep at night, yeah? Your sleeping room, sleeping villa. And the rest, you're free to go anywhere, anytime. And you have big spaces around you, you see what I'm saying? Yes, yes. yes. Then you don't feel suffocated or close the public. But some people, they stay in a small studio. 
normally they share with one or two people and they got on each other's nerves and they could just look out of the windows, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, this is terrible. This is truly terrible. Uh, yes, and, and it's, it's, it's a suffering to no end for all the people. Just forsake the meat and things will turn into the better immediately. And they don't do it, my God. How much more do I have to continue talking this way, like a robot, repeating again and again and again, same stuff in a different manner? I'm also tired of it. Also embarrassed, always having to say the same thing. And people just like tune out already, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes Master. I just... Heavens want to help, but they must have the condition to help. We don't create that condition. We have the power to create any condition in alignment with heavens. Yeah? Yes, Master. Mm. And then we can synchronize with heaven in order to make the world a better place, even a heaven on earth. But we just don't do it. And I'm... I don't know until when uh, we'll talk about this stuff. Just because you tell me, you ask me, so I, by the way, mention it. Otherwise, I'm too tired to even keep saying the same thing. Uh, but you guys take care of yourself, okay? Keep warm, huh? Yes, okay. master. yes master. When it's too cold, they can attack you also, you know, like common cold, stuff like that. Yeah? Yes, yes, master. Keep warm, huh? Keep normal, not too sweatily warm, mm, okay? Yes, yes. All right. Uh, is that your question? I answer, right? Uh, yes. Thank you very much, Master. Uh huh. You don't have to ask heaven anymore. Heaven also shake their heads, and you can just read the news, and you know how grave it has become. Yes, Master. We have what we can only, you know, heaven and I. Whenever the condition is possible, because in this world. The law of karma applies, even to the master and the disciples. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. We cannot go without karma at all. We cannot exist without karma. So we have to have some karma in order to exist in this world. That's the condition to exist on this planet. But that is a different karma. But if we continue, like people continue to kill animals, kill each other and all that, this karma will not go away. It will not be just enough for you to live on. You see what I'm saying? It will make people suffer. Yes, like like that, like the pandemic or a lot of disasters going on around the world these days. Yes, yes Master. Tell me. Is it another question? Yes. In that, By the way, you know? Yes. Yes, Master. In that same lecture, Master said that doesn't mean that people or disciples can do whatever they want and then still get away with the pandemic karmic consequences. Right. You have to really keep yourself in high moral and virtuous way of life. Right. Otherwise, you would just go down like everybody else. Right. If you destroy your own merit, if the merit is too thin and you make one more even little immoral act or mistake, then that merit will be destroyed. It will balance out and then you will be uncovered. Master. You will be what? Uh, it will balance out and then you will be uncovered. Uh, uncovered, okay. Master, how much merit is needed to protect oneself against COVID-19? <laughs> Is it something that can be quantified in spiritual merit points? Even if I say like two liters of merit is needed, how are you going to measure it? Huh? <laughs> Only the master knows. Only heavens know. Hmm? Even if I say it's useless. Of course, even if you don't know how much merit you have, just say you, okay, I mean everyone. Don't know how. Just continue to be good in your heart, in your mind, in your thought, in your actions, in your speech. Then even if your marriage is thin, it doesn't 
go minus. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Yes. Yeah, just keep it there. Continue with the virtues, moral road that's laid down by the, all the masters since ancient times in the Bibles, in the Buddhist holy scriptures, in Jainism, in Hinduism, etc. Okay, huh? Yes, yes Master. Mm. Just keep on with that. Then at least you are always have a layer of protection, yeah? You won't go minus. The problem is that we have minus merit, then we we'll be in trouble. Right. But whom am I talking to? The people outside? They don't even care. <laughs> they probably don't know who I am either. And then if they know, they say, who are you? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Who are you to tell us what to do? Nobody can tell them to do anything. Masters came and went. Humans are still like this. I'm very sad. Yeah. You just, if you want, you still continue to do that. At least it's good for you, okay? Yes, Master. To do your, the job that you're doing as MTV work. At least it's good for you, okay? Of course, it has some people. Or some people have changed, you know, into vegan and all that. And, some people are helping each other, but they are just mostly physical levels. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Yes, Master. The moral standard of the world is almost, almost zero. Huh? Okay. Does that answer your question? Yes, Master. Thank next, you. Next one, please. Master, what should a disciple do if he or she gets infected with COVID-19? Huh? Go to the hospital, man. <laughs> yeah? Yes. And uh, do what the doctor says. Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. A quarantine. You know, if doctor says you quarantine, you quarantine yourself. Until you're better. You're well. Okay, huh? So at least you don't infect other people. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Just do like everybody else. If you have COVID, then you have COVID. It's like everybody else. Even presidents and ministers and prime ministers and queens and... Princes, they all do the same like everybody else, don't you see? Yes, yes, master. yes, yes master. This pandemic doesn't spare anyone if your merit is low, if you overspend your merit. So some people still have some merit left, or they pray, they repent, or they recover. Some people cannot recover because their merit is too low below zero and maybe nobody prays for them even all that adds together yeah sometimes you're lucky somebody prays for you that helps yes but uh, if you don't have anyone nobody loves you nobody cares about you and you don't have any merit and you below zero then it just you know terminated your life. <sighs> Just have to stick to the moral standard and virtuous way of life, okay? Be vegan. Think good. Do good. Speak good. Very simple life, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes Master. And that is all we have to do. Thank you, Master. Yeah. And after you do all that and you still have COVID and you have to die, then it is your destiny, okay? Your fate. You have to die like that. Then it's fine. At least you are clean and pure and uh, you will go to heaven. Got that? Yes. And, and the master can take you up. Uh, does that answer you? Yes. Thank you, master. Okay. Another question. Uh, if you have... Five, you said, right? Okay, go on. Master, is there a time frame in which the karmic consequences of one's actions can be subdued, or uh -huh. once it's committed, it, it has to be paid in full, regard, regardless of intervention? Uh -huh, I got that. Yeah. And how can one know that time frame, and can it ever be totally nullified? Uh, uh, mostly not. And the time frame, it depends. It depends on many factors. Somebody gets it in one day, somebody gets it in one year, somebody gets it many years after, somebody gets it after they die. If you are uh, a practitioner, say, 
in our group running method, okay? Of course, you have master power protection. But if you step out of the boundary due to your ego or your, how to say, adventurous spirit or you don't believe, even if you initiate it, you didn't come in because of your faith in the master, but curiosity or just because you have a girlfriend there or whatever, then uh, so many things could affect your uh, karmic consequences. If uh, you still have some merit left, and if you sincerely practice, the master can always intervene and help you, carry you in the master's arms when you're weak and tired. But if you are not this type of sincere practitioner and not uh, humble in the heart and repentant, not always trying to connect with the divine instead of, uh, you know, running around outside with fame and name and pleasure and all that, then it's harder. But the karma doesn't always come immediately or time frame. There is no time frame for karma. Sometimes it can hurry up. Sometimes it can slow down. It depends also, of course, on your merit and your sincerity in practice spiritually. Or if someone prays for you. Or if you pray for yourself with all your heart, things can be delayed or um, can be uh, quickened. There is no fixed time frame. And there's nothing you can do if you don't have enough merit and you don't have a master to help you. Nothing you can do to stop the karma or to minimize it. Got that? Yes, okay. master. Yes, master. Mm. That answer the question, yeah? Yes, Master. The last question is, is maybe also a follow-up to that question. Is there something that determines if karma is instant or takes time to develop before becoming active? Sometimes yes, sometimes no, as I said already. Yes. yes. Sometimes karma comes immediately. Like, for example, uh, yesterday I tried to help one of the nun sisters who could not walk at the moment, yes? And immediately, I myself get it. Oh. Not as bad as her, but some part. You see what I'm saying? Yes. yes. So that one of my legs also becomes trouble, pain, and kind of stiffen. Out of nowhere, instantly, almost. Wow. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. yes, Master. Karma is a very scary thing. Yes. Yes. It doesn't spare anyone. It's okay, I can I can bear it, of course. It's not like uh, I'm totally handicapped for anything. It's just that I'm telling you. That's why I tell the so-called disciples, just don't try to do anything. Just meditate yourself. <laughs> Rescue yourself, and the rest of the Master will do it. Don't interfere with other people's karma. It's scary, okay? Yes, Master. It works instantly. Uh one story I heard from Yogananda's uh, disciples is that one uh, one of his uh, believers prayed for him to transfer some sickness from her family member to her. Immediately she got that. Wow. And the other one went free. But that's uh, just for one person. You see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. And that is a total transfer. And she doesn't have enough power to minimize it. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Maybe... For me, I can minimize so that I have only like the knees and the lower leg problem. Yeah. Before, I just told you it's winter and all that, but it's just because of that. Yeah, I didn't really want to mention it. It's just by the way, I tell you now. Okay, huh? Yes, yes. yes. And many other things. It's not just this. I'm just telling you that things sometimes can come quickly, huh? And sometimes not. It depends. Depends on that person that uh, affected person mm. or the intensity of the karma and the merit of that person. Yes. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Anything else, my love? Any extra? Yeah, that's all the questions we have for now, Master. Yeah, I know. But do you have any extra question about anything? No, huh? No master. no, master. You are warm, comfortable. That's all I wanted to know. Thank okay, you. The question is just, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Yeah, that's why I didn't prepare anything. I just, I just talked by the phone. Okay, then. 
If no more questions, then uh, we call it a day, huh? Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you for calling, Master. I wish all of you well. We are happy where we are, Master. You okay here? Yeah? Yeah. Yes, we have, Master. We have warm clothes, Master. Yes. And blankets. Be. Yes, yes. If it's too cold, you should go drink very warm water, okay? Yes, Master. As warm as you can bear, yeah? Hmm. All right, then. That's it. Uh, if you're okay, then I'm fine. I just uh, wanted to ask about that because I had pain and I was worrying that maybe where you live is too cold, that's all, too damp or something, and that you're not prepared well. You must all have the dehumidifier at least, okay? Yes, yes. yes. And the room is always warm because the dehumidifier also emits some warm air, right? Yes, yes. 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 And at least it's dry. You know, dry is very important, okay? Right. Yes. Yeah. So it doesn't make you pain. Uh, my pain, I guess, is different. I just, by the way, it reminds me of that. But my pain is different. Okay. All right then. Huh? Yeah. God bless you all. Please take care, care, care of yourself, yourself master. master. Yeah. Yes. I am asking for some uh, bandages. You know, some those uh, thermo, something they call it, right? For the hand and the knees area. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It will be coming soon. <laughs> Online or something. <laughs> Online, it would take a couple of days. Okay, good. I'm okay. I go with the stick, with the umbrella. Okay, then. Ciao. Ciao. Love Ciao. you. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Thank you for your call. Thank you for sticking around. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're still happy doing it, right? Yes, yes Master. Master. Yes. I cannot think of anything else better that you could do in this world to help others. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. All right. God bless. God bless, Master. God bless, Thank Master. you, Master. Thank you, Master. We love you.